people are willing to do and pay whatever it takes to get some sleep. And just like all of the tips we've explored so far, you better believe that Islam offers in-house services free of charge. So let's fast forward to the late evening when you're just beginning to widen down for the day. The Prophet ﷺ would recite a set of evening athkar, or remembrances in the form of Qur'anic verses and du'a. When you take a few minutes every evening to sit down and recite these with mindfulness, you train your brain to slow down. And to be honest, the list of prophetic dhikr that you can recite at night can keep you busy and work alone to get your mind in sleep zone. But the Prophet peace be upon him didn't stop there. Just think about the way the Qur'an and Prophet talk about the night. They approach it with a holistic mentality. Allah made the night for us to find that peace and serenity. 